What is up, guys? Skippy here, and we are back with some One Piece Treasure Cruise. And my guys, it is super pissed. Now, what we're going to do here in this episode is going to be a little bit of a quicker one. It's, this is cool. I'm just going to be taking pools off the Sugo and using and seeing what I get, you know, and sharing with y'all what I get. So, first things first, I'm going to turn my volume down a little bit so you're going to see my little thing indicator come up because I feel like I'm talking too loud over the music. Still getting used to doing it, recording in this fashion. So, as I said, we're going to go ahead and get some pulls down. I'm going to do the 30. And then I'm going to do 10 after that, two sets, and see what we get. All right? So let's start it off. All right? Yes, I am sure. Let's get into it. Let's get into the pools. It is Sugo Fest, boys, my guys, my dudes, my gals, my people. It is Sugo Fest. I am more than sure. I want to take the 30 gems and get my Sugo Fest going. Go ahead and pull back. One, two, three. Let's get it. All right, so straight gold as to be expected. Am I getting a Sugo? All right, let's check out what I got. So we got a Baby 5 pre-evolution, decent strength character, probably one of my favorite out of the um, Don Quex Pirates. Like, it's probably one of my favorite of Doflamingo's crew is Baby Five. I love her. I love her devil fruit. She's awesome. Let's go on to the next one. Okay. Okay. We have Abdullah and Jeet. Post-evolution, it looks like. Let's see what he does. Reduce special charge time by two at, at the start of the quest for Striker and and slashers and boost their attack by 2.5 it's not too bad reduces their special charge time by one turn for striker and slasher characters and turns those types unfavorable slots into recovery that's decent their stats just from right now i can tell they're probably a little rough but it is a 30 cost all right so we have the pirate who lives by his code brook. So, double side characters attack and cuts damage taken by INT by 30%. Great. Crewmate boosts side characters recovery by 15. I like it. I'm with it. Then, his special deals random side damage to all enemies and changes their slots. As you see, it's a side type. It's the 27 cost ones. They have them for all the straw hats. Okay. We have my man, Jesus Fergus. Look at that elbow. My man's got that elbow, I'm telling you. Boost fighters, characters, attack by 225. Or boost strength, dex, and quick characters, base attack, and HP by 75. I like that. It's a good crewmate ability. Special's already at level 3. I'm happy about that. See what it does at level 3. Reduces all enemies HP by 20%. Boosts damage dealt to delayed enemies by 1.5 for 2 turns. That's interesting. That's interesting. Next one we have my girl, Karina. Just look at her. She's, she's sweet. It's decent. She reduces special charge times by 1 turn. At start a quest, boosts side characters attack by 2-5. And recovery by 1-2. Special reduces all enemies damage reduction and resilience by 4 turns. Changes block and adjacent slots to characters on type. Changes slots randomly unless they're matching. And reduces damage taken by 70% for 2 turns. So it's a really, really solid support character. If you need just a support side type character for a little slasher crew or cerebral crew. Maybe like something for like a... um. A Shanks crew? Who knows? Something along the lines of that. Let's go to the next one. We got Nami. It's just the reunited Nami. It's nothing real special. Two of her. Oh, man. Y'all breaking my heart. 
Oh, God. I gagged a little bit on that one. We have Baluno, the Dark Justice Baluno, whose INT character is attacked by 1-5, reduces damage taken from by Psy characters by around 20%. Okay, it's not too bad. Re reduces damage taken by half for one turn and boosts Powerhouse characters attacked by 175. I like it. His stats are a little underwhelming, but I think he might be like a 30 cost once he's in post evolution. Okay, we have Solomon. Boost slasher characters attack by three times, but reduces after each turn. So I remember when this guy right here actually used to be like high tier. You've got to be able to quickly blow through the quest you're doing. 20 turn special. Deals 13 times characters attack and side damage to all enemies and sets characters captain slot to own characters. Okay. Then, okay, we got Whitey Bay. We got the Ice Witch Whitey Bay. We got her post evolution. Let's go on to the next. I was trying to look at it, but. And we have the 20th anniversary Nico Robin. Let's see what my girl does. Double Cerebral characters attack and boost the recovery by 1-3. Makes crew tandem slots have matching slot effects if the captain is a fighter class. And then binds self for one turn, but removes block slots, deals non-type damage. That's interesting. Boosts damage to enemies affected by defense down by 1.5 for two turns. That's interesting. That's interesting how she walks herself all right now we're going to go ahead in for another recruit grab another one real quick and see if we can get anything off this one see if our luck's a little better on the singles and we pull khalifa it's the cp9 strongest khalifa whose cerebral characters attack by 225 recovery by 1.5 that's good that's actually really good and then reduces damage for one turn by half if HP is 50 or higher, by 80 if it's b between 10 and 50, and by 100 if it's below 10%. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, we have the last pool of the evening. All right, let's go ahead and run it through. Looks like it's just another gold, as long as it's not Nami. Okay, we got a 20th anniversary Usopp. Boost shooter characters attack by 3.25 when they attack in a good, great, perfect order. See, that's the one thing that I'm glad they're kind of, kind of just adding it as a bonus. Because the good, great, perfect thing, it really messes with your chain. So I never really liked that too much. But let's see what this does. Reduces character special bind duration by four turns. That's a really good crewmate ability. That's a really good crewmate ability. Changes empty slots to characters' own types, unfavorable slots to recovery, and delays all enemy just by one turn. That's great. Like, he's a, a really solid support shooter. That's decent. I like it. So, looking at how it is now, let's go ahead and jump to the character box and take a quick peek. Let's filter it a little bit. Let's get rid of all the junk. And, okay. From what we have, you guys can take a little look. And, I'd like for you guys to go down below. Leave me a little comment of what, what team should I build up. You know, I have the Shanks, I have the Bartolomeo, I have the Blackbeard, which I was kind of keeping in the shadows. But I have the Blackbeard I've been working on. I've been working on him. So, there's him right there. You know, I have the Akoji, y'all know about him. Or the Kuzan, as it says in here. You know, just scrolling through a little bit. I have the both Gear 4 Luffy's, the Strength and the Quick. The ones y'all saw earlier, let me just pull. And that's basically what I have right now. You know, just looking through it. So just kind of... Toss it down below and just give me some ideas. 
Give me some ideas of some crews that I that you guys feel I can use, things you'd like to see me use, anything along those lines. Because I may have been doing some other things on the channel, but One Piece is not going anywhere. Treasure Cruise is here to stay till the day I stop doing YouTube. Treasure Cruise is here. So, with that said, my guys, I will see you guys in the next video. You guys take it easy. Skippy out.